Good morning, friends. We are here at Disney Springs. It is our second morning. No, I will te uh. technically. First morning, we woke up here. <laughs> First morning that we woke up here, we got up, we went to the club level lounge and had some breakfast. So I'll pop in some of the video that I took this morning. Here's our morning breakfast assortment. We got pastries, apple danish, there's fresh fruit, granola and yogurt, with a little bit of honey. So we got cheese, salmon, hard boiled eggs. I think they're replenishing the bacon. There's a turkey bogoti, so it's like a egg dish. And there's an oatmeal spread with all sorts of toppings and the French toast bread pudding. I'm gonna wait for that to get restocked. There's also a cereal bar. And then we have some toast and breads and a little toaster with some cream cheese and butter. Look at that. So now we're here at Disney Springs. Yeah, we, we are going to go to Gideon's first. Yeah, we are. So right now it is 940. Everything opens at 10. We're going to grab peanut butter cold brew, a cookie of the month for this guy. At least one. And then do a little bit of shopping. They have a new corksicle pop up and AJ has this corksicle sling and I want one myself. And they now have some with Mickey ears. I heard they were sold out last week, so fingers crossed that they're back in stock. And we're doing a little browsing this morning. We're going to Magic Kingdom tonight, but we don't really have any plans during the day. The sun is warm, so we're gonna try to stay out of it as much as possible. It's a shady day. <laughs> if you're new here, my name's Ivy. Welcome. Uh, I'm a Disneyland local, and we love traveling to Disney World, taking you guys along with us. And let's do a nice, relaxing vacation Disney World kind of day. Disney Springs first thing in the morning is the best because it's fairly empty, only a few people walking around. I much prefer Disney Springs at opening time versus like evening. This place gets popping. And a little, little too busy for me sometimes. I've never gone to see a movie at the AMC theater. Uh, oh, that surprises me. A second showing of Guardians 3 might be in my future. Hmm. Well, we made it over to Gideon's Bake House. It is a bakery that started in central Orlando. They have a second location that is north of the Orlando airport. And we're here 15 minutes before opening. And there is quite a line already. We usually try to get here an hour before opening to be closer to the front. But today we decided we weren't going to be in that big of a hurry. It is 10 o'clock, Gideon's is open, the line is starting to move, and they're handing out the cookie menus. So over by Paddlefish, they have a new corksicle pop-up. Now, fortunately, the things that I came here for are all out of stock, but uh, AJ, on the other hand, got a new coffee cup. I did. Yes, so it's on my one. <laughs> He's very pleased with himself. They do have the slings that I want online. I just figured since we were here, and then I could probably use it while I was here, it is what it is. And they said they're getting them in today. Yeah, so uh, I heard that they get shipments at, like every day or every other day. It's just not in the mornings. <laughs> so they normally get them closer to four or five in the afternoon. That's fine. So I stopped by Erin McKenna's bakery and it is actually a vegan and I believe all gluten free bakery. My mom is coming to visit and she is allergic to egg. So we usually pick up a couple things here for her. And we don't really have plans to come back to Disney Springs. So I picked up a couple of things in advance and they have all sorts of delicious items, cupcakes, cakes, donuts, brownies. Well, in a turn of events, um, 
So AJ loves going into chapel hats. And for years he was trying to find like his hat style. And finally this, was it in January? It was in January. Yeah. In January, he finally went in and was able to find a hat that just fit the look that he was going for. Well, he needed a, a bigger sun hat for his job since he's outside. And so went in and ended up with this. And as we were getting ready to leave, I <laughs> picked up a hat and was like, this is really comfortable. And it's hot outside and very sunny. Should probably protect my face. And uh, here we are. Now AJ and I are walking around. In brand new and, hats. <laughs> in our new hats. Let's see, we started the morning with Gideon's. I stopped by Aaron McKenna's for my mom. And we both got new hats and Disney Springs has been open for an hour and eight minutes. <laughs> this is why I try to not spend too much time here. Um, so now we're headed to Stance, which is a sock store. I go there every time we come here. It's AJ's favorite socks. He's wearing some no-show socks right now. And they have like the little tab in the back so your shoe doesn't rub on your heel and your sock stays up. So he definitely is getting more socks. There's a Columbia store here. We definitely don't need any more Columbia, but Columbia sent me a 20% off coupon for my birthday. So I'll pop in, see, see what they have. And then I think I need to run into Sephora. Um, this is a makeup talk for a second, but I wear Lashify lashes and I put them on the day before we left. I used a little too much glue and I can tell because you can see powder on my eyelashes and that's actually powder stuck to the glue. And I don't have my tools to remove the powder. So I think I'm just gonna buy liquid eyeliner and paint over it. It's like a <laughs> canvas. Well, I took a nap. That is my idea of a dream vacation. AJ is getting dressed and I am headed into the lounge, which is like literally right here. The door and we walk five steps. Um, but there is a Nespresso machine. And when we stayed at the boardwalk, I loved using the Nespresso machine so much that I actually bought one for my house. So I'm gonna go make myself a nice coffee. And then dinner service is in eight minutes. And then we're going on with our night to head to Magic Kingdom. Blue cheese. His tomba. Wow, look at all these cheeses. AJ's in heaven. I think you could get that blue cheese off the stones. I know, I would. Oh my god. Yeah, I love Ooh. it. I love it. This coriander hummus was so good yesterday. I'm excited to have it again. Put a little bit of tabbouleh, some olives. We have all sorts of veg, and then some ranch, boma mustard, and some regular mustard, it looks like. We have some ham and cheese roll-ups, assorted fruit, and then something is coming out here with ketchup and mustard. So we'll see what that is. We have our coffee station, regular water, sparkling water, lemonade and tea. We have all sorts of hot teas, coffees, Mickey bars, and beverages. Oh, we have orange Fanta today. I think I'm gonna have myself an orange Fanta. We have beer and wine for the evening. And then there's a hot station. And it looks like they are going to have lamb stew and a pork dish. The food tonight was so good. I, I wasn't as hungry tonight as I was last night, but the little piggy wings with the Sana dipping sauces, I could have, if I was hungry, I could have just sat there and kept getting those. It was awesome. And I could have had five of those lamb stews. Oh yeah, AJ loved the lamb stew. Great food so far. I, I think that I like the food selection in this club better than the selection in Boardwalk, but I like the ambiance of, it's a little quieter and then not, wasn't as busy. Boardwalk is a little yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like the ambiance at Boardwalk better. It's just interesting trying the different ones because they're also different. So we're gonna try to go to Bay Lake Tower now. Yeah, we are. We made it to Bay Lake Tower. It's the tower next to the Contemporary and the Monorail. 
We're going to the top of the World Lounge, which is on the 16th floor. We weren't sure about parking over here without a dining reservation, but they let us in. Now, Top of the World Lounge is a DVC members lounge. It's first come, first serve, and you have to show your digital member ID card to get in. So we got here right before opening so we could get in line. Oh, look at those views. So we just took our seat in the villain's layer, and they have all sorts of regular cocktails, some zero proof mocktails, wines, beer and some little bites. But they redid this just after the pandemic. They didn't really do much to the space except add some nice little villain flair. I got what's called the Tower Trap and it's gin and um, yellow chartreuse, which I just picked up a bottle of, orange blossom honey, black tea, a touch of cucumber and fresh lime. It looks like it's garnished with, is that a sage leaf? And you can see the little drops of honey sitting on it. Like it's very visually appealing as well. Very floral, just a touch sweet, very herbaceous. It's delightful. It's very nice. So for my drink, I got the Queen's Garden. It is seed lip gin, which has no real gin. Um, and then a peach puree, sparkling water, and mint. It tastes like something. No. It tastes like a, there's a lot of peach syrup, and I stirred it too, but it tastes like peach monin. I don't get as much of... I, seed Lip Garden is my favorite of all of the Seed Lip um, flavors, I guess. Um, and I don't really get a lot of those flavors because of how much peach is in here. But I was telling AJ, this drink sounds like it'd be really good with ginger beer instead of sparkling water. It's really refreshing. Um, but I like a little bit more of that, like, herb and like, almost like vegetable taste that Seed Lip Garden typically has. That's a little bit better now that I stirred it. But yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. So I'm drinking my drink, which was lovely. And Ivy keeps seeing this green drink over my shoulder and goes, what is the green drink? So we ask, and it's called the Cursed Pirate. And the Cursed Pirate is rum and rum, two rums, passion fruit, pineapple, lime juice, cane sugar, and blue curacao. It's this lovely bright green. So we're gonna try this one too. Oh, that's sweet. It's, it's Mai Tai. It's a green Mai Tai, but it's very nice. So from up here, we have Contemporary, the Polynesian. We go over, we have Grand Flow. The sun is a, the sky is just really like reflecting. It's very bright out here. So yeah, you have the view of Magic Kingdom and Space Mountain, Tron, big Tron show building. Really high up. It's just interesting how different of a view it is from over here. Yeah. That's where you watch the fireworks at California Grill. Yeah. And you don't see, at least I feel like you don't see as much of like the roof tops mm -hmm. that you do from up here. This is a different vantage point. I dig it though. I would totally watch fireworks from up here. Yeah, that'd be fun. Thank you so much. Oh, so fast. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. It was kind of strange because we haven't gone into a park today and I didn't have to scan my finger. Neither did I. Huh. Interesting. We also had a boarding group for Tron. Yeah, I did. That's the other reason we're here. I did get a boarding group for Tron. So it is a quarter to eight. Mm -hmm. The perimeters of all the areas are starting to get full for people waiting for happily ever after so the hub is definitely has a lot of action and a lot of people sitting popping we are going to go to the entrance of adventureland and get my favorite snack 
We're gonna get some cheeseburger spring rolls. I think we just said one, didn't oh, we? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Unless we paid for two. No, it's just one. Okay. Da -da -da. Let me grab napkins. Uh, ketchup or mustard? No, not for me. Secret sauce. Burger sauce. That's all it. All I need in that. How excited are you right now? So excited. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. these cheeseburger sprinkles oh, are hot. so hot. Cheers. Mm. Nothing so beats a Magic Kingdom burgers. spring burger cheese roll. We just stood there waiting for them to bring some out. So we have T minus seven minutes to Cry Fest 2013. 2023. What did I say? 2023. 2023. <laughs> well, we were just talking about how the last time we watched this, it was 2018. Yeah. What the heck? And they all live happily ever after. an hour after fireworks to finally get out of the hub area because um, it was very crowded. So we just let the crowds go away. And we needed to come over to Tomorrowland and that's like the worst path of travel that we needed to take. So we waited a little bit. Now we're going to head to Tomorrowland. It is extra evening hours tonight for deluxe resort guests. So what that actually means is when the park closes at 10 today guests, the park is open for another two, three, Ooh. I think it's still one. Three hours? Maybe it's some midnight, I don't really know. I should probably look. A couple more hours for deluxe resort guests. So anyone staying at a deluxe resort, including DVC properties. So that's us today. And the best part about it is on those days, there is, there's a third virtual queue drop. So at 6 p.m. today, I got on the app, clicked the join now, and we are group 184. It looks like it's going to be called pretty close to park closing. So we're just gonna head to Tomorrowland um, and kind of hang out in that area. We don't really plan on staying very late tonight. Our goal is to ride Tron, see a friend, and get out of here. Bounce. By the way, Happily Ever After was as good as ever. Um, it looks like they definitely enhanced some of the projections. I know they added projections to Main Street, uh, but we were standing closer to the hub, so we saw the castle. It was just awesome. I love that show so much. And I'm so excited because we're coming back on Saturday to watch it again with my mom and my brother. So we get it twice this trip. We realized we hadn't watched it since October 2018, which is wild. AJ goes, maybe you don't like it as much as you say you did because you haven't been here to watch it. <laughs> it's not true, I love it. Just... So the last few trips, pre all the things of 2020, we just like skipped Magic Kingdom. So, October 2018, but I'm glad we fixed that tonight and we're getting two in this trip. So, um, we made it to Tomorrowland though and now we're gonna wait a little bit until our boarding group gets called for Tron. Well, it's been about two minutes since I said we were going to do something until our boarding group got called and our boarding group got called. Uh, it is 9.45 and the extra evening hours don't start till 10, so I wasn't expecting to get called till 10 o'clock, but worked in our favor so I'm so excited to ride this at night we've never ridden it during normal operation it was only cast preview oh that's right our friend invited us to cast preview so we've only been during yeah we haven't seen the pre-show yeah. oh this is gonna be exciting yeah. wow look at this Ooh, there goes a car I'm also really looking forward to bringing my brother on this this weekend so it is 9.51, so I want to see how long we have to wait in 
from our virtual queue being called. We enter the grid. Oh, these fans. This is where it's at, man. for about 25 minutes and we've made it to the lockers so you're gonna go in of fun and I mean the people behind me are saying Guardians is better and I don't disagree however I do think that this is a fun ride and really fun at night so we ended up being almost to the back in the ride car and I feel like that makes such a fun difference especially when you're going through the part where it's dark you get to see all of the light cycles in front of you so well, we're headed out of Tron, and I will say the queue is a million times longer than it was when we got in. So we walked straight up to the touch point, practically. And this is a, quite a hefty line out here. Well, if we ended up in the Plaza Ice Cream Parlor, we thought it was closed. But uh, there was a nice cast member outside with a sign that said, line starts here. So this is now where we are. We're gonna get the ice cream. Wow, look at that Sunday! <laughs> and I got a root beer float. Well, friends, we left Magic Kingdom and headed back to a quiet and peaceful Animal Kingdom Lodge where I had no audio in my videos. We snagged some beverages from the Kilimanjaro Club and found this stash of Mickey bars. We have an early morning tomorrow, so we headed straight to bed. We'll see you tomorrow as we pick up my family, check into Riviera, and head to Hollywood Studios.